I placed the adductor transformer uh, synchronous induction from here to here and to here with coils alongside. So I made many turns here and here for the for the um, the uh, transformer. The electrical thermal energy that is applied to the aluminum, the diamagnetic, it will flow through, whereas it's low in electrons. It shall emit the anodes through this this open clearance. The design of the open clearance is similar to like the cyclotron. The cyclotron of a magnetron, like a like a microwave oven. You know, a ventilation of the anodes and the heat to actually dissipate the heat through a bridge to where the heat that's traveling from this side will emit through here and the heat that's traveling this side will emit through here and reduce the thermal and I tested it by uh, heat gun and I applied heat like this for about a minute I held it to it so I could test the core to see concerning the heat I don't have a film the uh, a film to test the waves and to see if these any smoke is or heat is exerting from the uh, cyclotron kind of uh, uh, input, all the input that the kind of like where the bridge of the horns will emit the uh, electrons and it will travel out of the open clearances and dissipate the heat to exert to exhaust actually the thermal heat. So holding this here and allowing this to get hot, I don't have a temperature sensor to actually test it. So I'm really building on just uh, intuitive intelligence. So I push my finger back, but here is where it's not that much energy. It's not that much heat. See how my finger is touching the unit on the switch finger because it was a little bit hot of horns. Right here it's kind of cool. And I can feel the heat wave actually moving through the opposite direction. And it's coming out of it. It's actually ventilating the heat. So, the... I'm going to be adding this. The graphite is going to be like the brush. And between the energy generator, I generated the energy to this induction, uh, a bypass um, a junction of a uh, palatary effect. And see back of it. And the, gra uh, the graphite using bismuth and gonna be using silicon. To, for a bypass to cause the seaback effect to the winding weight of the diamagnetic. The coil winding weight greater than the diamagnetic. Coil around it, whereas the weight is greater than, than the part itself, than the mount itself that I'm winding a tight helix alongside its exterior, uh, bearing the aluminum or diamagnetic in the core. Chuckle winding energy and momentum will cause lift to move it like a solar. The diamagnetic vertically into the air, pale away. So this is more repulsive diamagnetics. Uh, modification and modulation of this uh, palatary effect shin guard. Now the other part, which is here, I have it off so that I can use it to slide up and down to adjust for front of the ankle. And this will en enable a little shifting in movement, articulated movements. I do have the uh, Viaxel ROM localized right there for the panning of this, enable it not to fall forward or, or backwards. So I have the cradle at the legs to keep it to prevent it that way but it enables it the cradle to swerve left and right but in addition it will be raised up because of the other mount which is another uh, coil mount of the uh, foot pad look um 
acrylic waterproofer to keep it scratch scratch proof until I carbon fiber the materials. Um, I'm going to make also input servo capacitors, and I'm going to make holes for ultra capacitor slots and winding coil to synchronize local to it. However, protecting the winding coil from thermal energy, I'm going to be using silicon powder. And I'm also going to be using uh, bismuth powder and add it within the open clearance, hollow open clearance, like these holes, alongside it, suspending the uh, ultra capacitor along with winding coil so that um, now the coin batteries that I'm going to be adding up here and alongside the back frame. Now, when I do that, I'm going to be phasing the coin batteries. Windings that will be localized here will cause the transfer of the induction to the induction. And these will share whomever receives a charge and add more uh, current to both sides of the frame. And again, like I said, this is a diamagnetic which should cause a long as the coil turns are more than the weight of the diamagnetic it would lift on the floor and using also uh more amps so i'm going to be using like 200 amps it is going to be very great again um my name is jimmy morton and making the mark 42 design ship